So as we leave what could become a Russian protectorate for an American one, we encounter small logistical irritations that often accompany messy politics. Our driver can't cross in his car without lots of hassle, but he offers to help us with the equipment. So they're changing the plates on the cars, aren't they? Yeah. So, so they, they don't know that they're from Serbia? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not so much that things are hostile or corrupt, it's yeah. just that they're there at all. A frontier within a nation when, say, there's barely one at all between France and Germany. There's no phone signal. The phone's not working. I can, I'll message them now. And still on foot, off into no man's land. That was a fairly soft border, just like any other border where you have to get a passport stamp. Took a couple of minutes. Just up here is Kosovo. If you're not walking like we are, you have to wait maybe a couple of hours to go through. We've crossed in just a few minutes, and now we'll see what the attitude's like on the Kosovo side, which is run by an international force. The troops belong to NATO and are called K-4. The United Nations runs the civilian administration under UN Resolution 1244. Among other things, it says Kosovo should remain part of Serbia. nine years when Serbian police were accused of killing the local mainly Albanian population. <laughs> then Serbs controlled everything, setting up hostile checkpoints. The Serbs say independence for Kosovo will never be negotiable. And when reporting it, I found that the hunger for independence then was no different to now with the Albanian population out on the streets, begging for Western military help. <laughs> Ethnic cleansing created more than a million refugees. Airstrikes led to Serbia's withdrawal, then ground troops came in with a specific mission. a secure environment for all the people of Kosovo, whatever their ethnic background. We will be robust and we will be even-handed. Violence or non-compliance will not be tolerated from whichever quarter it may come. We know that that most of the people is supporting the, uh, the, high, the idea of, of, of a, uh, an independence of the country, at least in the Albanian side. Spin forward to now and Kosovo remains unfinished business. Violence, I don't know if there will be violence. There will be reactions. They are not necessarily violent, you know. Uh, so, so I think we have a whole scope of, of, uh, of options, I would say, and, and, and we are trying to, uh, to uh, uh, to prepare as much as possible. But why is there even talk of violence? Pristina, the capital, makes clear where its loyalty lies. A big thank you for kicking out the Serb government. Shared values that echo well in Washington. would technically be against international law. Most Albanians think they'll get it because the US is behind them and America hasn't denied it. 